Hello and welcome to another one of my videos and I'm going to be going through some stock I got in. I also want to give a bit of a pep talk and kind of discuss uh, the last video. So yeah, I bought these back from a customer. So it's the part of the job I don't like. So he's had a bit of a financial issue and he's taken a bit of a haircut on these. It's a really sad story i won't get into it because it's not my story to tell but he said to me so i've got these coins i bought them from you you recognize they're from me because i sell a lot of these do you want to buy them back and i said i'll buy anything back but it's got to be for the right price you know it is a business i'm not i won't take the biscuit you know so i always pay a premium on this stuff so i will literally pay what i can pay my suppliers if I had an office, I would pay less, to be frank, because I'd have more costs. And also I'd have more gold coming through the door, so you you can't afford to pay more. It's a really weird thing. Um, it's a bit of a strange one, but if you've got lots of supply and you don't have the demand, you have to pay less. That's just what it is. So yeah, these come in. He took a bit of a haircut because spot went down and obviously I've paid him, I've paid him less of a premium than what I sold it to to him for and that's that is what it is he was happy with it he just said to me I don't begrudge you a profit you've always helped me out so they've come in I uh, I have been thinking about what people said concerning the last video so there was one commenter who turned around and said well YouTube are thinking of putting ads on videos anyway I did look into it there there is a bit of substance behind that which it's probably swayed my decision a bit more. One of the things I kind of battled with in my head is is more to do with, I don't think the quality of my channel is quite there yet in terms of having it monetized. You know, I don't really have a professional setup. I don't really uh, put out the content that I wish to put out. You know, I, I've, I've made a few videos in the past and say, uh, my my channel's changing direction and I want to do certain things of it. You know, I want to talk about certain issues. And the reality is being in the past year, especially the last six months with COVID, I've been working so often that I've kind of neglected the channel in terms of how I wanted to put content out, which kind of sucks because this was never meant to be a marketing channel. It's not a sales channel. You know, it was, I set it up because I felt there was a niche in the market for someone like me to not only talk about my experiences and how you could benefit from them, because a lot of people could benefit from my experiences and my, uh, my knowledge. But I set it up also because I wanted to be able to showcase stock coins and bars that most channels can't. They just, they can't do it because I get all sorts of weird and wonderful coins in and and bars and most channels don't and the reason they don't is because they're either individual stackers who want to share their hobby so they won't get that much in you might see one or two things um are they the bigger channels where you don't get many channels that trade and the ones that do trade tend to be more commercialized than mine mine's more i try and talk to people on a level basis you know, I am a hobbyist. I do want to share my hobby, but I am a business also. So yeah, that's that's kind of been frustrating. So the reason I was contemplating monetizing and why I wanted your guys, well, you guys' opinions was because if it enables me to take time off from trading, then that's a good thing because I can put out the content that I want to. So there's a few videos I put out uh, that I felt were of value, like where I could actually dig more into the research side of things. I did something called Zimbabwean Dollar Meltdown. You know, I thought that was a, a good little video. It probably didn't get the views it deserved, but from the watch time, the people that did watch it took a lot from it. So I'm I'm not too concerned about having videos that have 10,000 views, but then the people are only watching 10% of it. I don't think that serves a purpose. You know, I'd rather put out videos that have 200 views, but then it's 50% retention. Like that's where I want to be at personally. 
so yeah if it if it is the case where they're gonna put ads on my videos anyway then i 100 percent will be monetizing regardless because i should be able to benefit from my work you know i don't see why a company can make money off my back when i'm perfectly entitled to it in the first place due to the hard work i put in over the years this has taken a long time to get to the size i am you know i'm probably my my aim's probably going to be around the 10,000 hours mark like that's what i'm gearing towards these are 2.5 pesos but yeah i wanted to discuss a, a couple of other things so people been saying oh how can i buy from you you know why the price is not there why don't you talk about pricing well it's in the description you know i say i trade at two groups so there's actually three groups i trade at on on facebook some people tend to whatsapp me the reason i haven't put my whatsapp on on the youtube is because i didn't want to be bombarded with messages you know you're more than welcome to send me a message on Facebook and then get my WhatsApp if you're a cu if you want to be a customer of mine, you know. And also, it, it doesn't serve a purpose to put prices out consistently because they're redundant very quickly. So if I put a video out just last week for gold, where the gold price has dropped a lot, the prices are not the same. The prices change. The prices change on a daily basis, and it I don't think it helped kind of anyone you need to realize that the the dealers are hyper competitive and they're constantly playing around with their percentages and what they charge in terms of over spot so it's not even like i can say well for example uh this is spot plus 10 percent because it may be spot plus 10 percent due to how the other dealers price and in a week's time they might realize that the price hasn't stuck and it's now spot plus five percent so it's it's not even like I can do it. What I tend to do is people message me and say, what's the price? And I'll have a quick look at my competition and I'll try and be competitive, you know. So that, that kind of addresses why I don't put it up. You're more than welcome to contact me on Facebook. I can be found under Sean William Oliver. I'm wearing a reindeer outfit. Long story short, I put something up a long time ago when I started trading um, because I just wanted to seem approachable it kind of stuck and haven't changed it since let's show you some some other stock i got in so i absolutely love these i bought a lot of stock from these guys um i've got more coming in i've got some absolutely fabulous uh alice in wonderland two ounce coins coming in i'm gonna make a small killing on those which i always like however it's not always about money it's been an absolutely dire month, by the way, in terms of my earnings. I I had to do stock take. I'm still doing my accounts. But yeah, let's let's show these. It, it's always nice to see some pamps. So yeah, this gentleman, I end up buying a lot off him. Um, he runs one of the biggest dealerships in the UK. And I just phoned him up and I said, oh, what was it? Ah, I yeah, it was about, I, I was trying to put a, a payment for it and it wouldn't let me. And he's like, oh, I'm really sorry. And we got to talking and he's like, you've been buying a lot from us recently. I said, yeah, I'm a trader. And he thought it was the best thing since sliced bread. I I was really shocked. I was expecting him to be like, hmm. But he was over the moon. He, he just, he said to me, he's like, oh, don't worry about an office. Just trade how you're trading. Like the new school traders will will do very well. Uh, it was really nice talking to him. He, and he said to me, so I, I wish I'd known because I could have just given you a list. He, he bought a 50K PAMP collection. No, not PAMP collection, Perf Mint collection. It, it did have some PAMP in it. And he was just like, it's been a nightmare. So I only took a couple of grand off him. But some of the stuff that come in, absolutely fantastic. So one thing I'm thinking of doing is just saying, look, I know you're short on time. Do you want to team up? You know, if if he can use me as an outlet, I've got maybe access to potentially 5,000 people who want to buy. You know, and I, I do need to find a way to kind of involve you guys on YouTube because ultimately 
that's what you guys kind of want and that's that's really shocked me like i i wasn't expecting that that is what it is you know if people want me to use youtube as an outlet i'm gonna have to find a way that doesn't really compromise what i want as well so this is a rooster it's it's a fine balance really like i've been looking into getting an office I do need to be able to purchase from the public. And also, I I had a discussion with someone on YouTube. He wanted to meet me and I'm not I'm not too comfortable meeting people with cash with coins. I've heard too many horror stories. You know, I've had a few issues myself. But if I had an office, it would be a completely different dynamic. So what I ended up doing was uh we need a heck up. <laughs> what I ended up doing was I passed him on to one of my suppliers. I don't know if they did a trade, but I just wasn't comfortable meeting someone from YouTube. And I wouldn't be, say someone phoned me up and said, hey, I want to buy this. Can I pay you in cash? I I'd say no. You know, it's, I have traded over five, well, I've, I've had maybe 5,000 transactions and it all goes by post essentially and it's taken a long time for me to get to trust people to kind of meet up with them you know you got a, I, I deal in a market where it's big money like some months I can move 50,000 pound in coins you know if my margin's 10% and I meet someone they want to do a 2,000 pound transaction and I get mugged you know that's it's painful beyond like don't get me wrong like sure i can insure it you know i can do other things but it it kind of i'm always wary of that this here this is probably a 150 pound bar you know when these first come out i i had a look at them and i was like ah i was having an eye on it i was like it's not for me i really wish i had like these bars are done very well and i think if they do more series that are kind of like this I will purchase when they come out because the price does well. It's a shame some of them do milk spot like you saw from this one. I don't know why I put it back in. I'll show you the milk spot in. It still maintains a premium, but not the premium it should. So see all the milk spot in there. That's common on pamps and it is a real shame, but it is what it is, you know? In terms of this little batch here, so the four bars, there's probably about a hundred pound profit for me, which is nice. Anyway, I'm gonna call it short. I say short, it's 30 minutes. I hope you've taken something from my little kind of pep talk slash talk. You know, I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll speak to you soon.